Hello and welcome to another episode of the iPad Lettering Show. My name is Karen, I'm from iPad Lettering, bringing you the best tips and tricks about anything iPad related. Although today we are not using the iPad, but we are using the iPhone instead because Procreate have just brought out a brand new version of Procreate Pocket and this is extremely exciting because now you have all the same features that you have on the iPad on the phone as well. Now you might ask, why would I use the iPhone when I can use the iPad? Well, there could be a few reasons. You might be that you don't have an iPad and you only have a phone, but you still might like to practice your creative skills um, playing with Procreate. So using the phone is actually a really good option, especially now that we have the exact same feature available on the phone as well. So now a question that I get asked a lot is which stylus to use and um, you can actually use any stylus that you feel comfortable with. So anything that you like the feel of and this one is a really cheap one here that I got with I think when I ordered a screen protector for the phone I this one came for free. And then I've got also got this um, Sensu Artist stylus and I like using this because it's got this little brush attachment here but it's not necessary you can actually also use your fingers unlike the iPad um, the iPhone has 3d touch and what that means Procreate Pocket makes use of the pressure you put on the screen so it doesn't depend what type of stylus you use they are not connected to Bluetooth they are just transferring the heat from your hands onto the screen and then that's how um, how you use them so yeah, any any styles. This one's a bit lighter. This one's a little bit heavier, and I like using this also, obviously because it's got the brush. But that's completely up to you which stylus that you would like to use. Now you would have seen me creating these initials here um, with all sorts of different colors and patterns, and this is just what I call a creative snack. I like doing this when I'm a little bit bored or if I want to just relax for a little bit and take my mind off things. I really love doing this and try and come up with as many different patterns and color combinations that I can think of. So this has been quite fun for me to do and I've created templates that I've been using um, to make these letters. But the cool thing is with the new version of Procreate now, we actually don't have to use these uh, templates anymore because we can now use fonts and we can create text. So let me show you how to do this. Now let's start by creating a new canvas. The size of the canvas that you want to select is entirely up to you. Um, A4 is a good size, so I'm going to select this. This is also if I wanted to print this, this is already A4 size. Um, and it's, a, it's sort of a handy size to use also for the text that we are going to add. So the first feature that I want to show you um, is the liquify feature. So I'm going to select one of my canvas brushes. You can pretty much use any brush um, to, just to put some color on the screen. I like this one because, because it kind of creates this canvas look. So I'm just adding this um, color on the screen now and then I'm choosing some different colors as well to create a bit of a mix. So once we use the liquify, you'll see that we're gonna actually mix all of them together, but this just creates a nice start. So now let's do a bit of a darker one as well. Create a bit of dimension. And then I also want to put a few highlights as well. So I'm going to choose this and make it a bit lighter. And then some more purple. Okay, and now tap on modify and then um, in your adjustments you have liquify here now so we'll select this and to adjust the settings for liquify tap on the first icon here so these are all the liquify modes that we have and out of these the mo the ones I use most often are probably expand push and edge 
So definitely try those out. I've also got the video where I'm showing you how um, to use this for the iPad and it works exactly the same way. So the feature set that we have on the phone and the iPad are exactly one to one now, which is really, really awesome. It's just that the layout of the app is a little bit different because there's not as much screen real estate. So let's choose push and then you have different settings here as well. So you can um, uh, set the size, the pressure, distortion and momentum. Um, I like uh, keeping the momentum at 100% because it kind of makes the uh, sort of pixels flow around the screen. So it almost looks like you have liquid watercolor, which is really cool. So let me show you what this does. So I'm just going to push these pixels around and you can see how it sort of has this momentum, which is sort of really nice to look at. So you can create some interesting patterns but then definitely um, try out some of the other ones as well like expand I quite like that you just hold down your um, stylus and it kind of expands which can create really cool effects and what you can do as well you can actually go outside um, your canvas and use it there as well so this can create some cool effects sometimes and uh, let's see what happens when we go back. So now I don't like this so much, so I'm just going to push it out again and sort of mix this in a bit more. All right, so now we have, you know, an interesting looking um, background. All right, so now I'm just going to unselect this. All right, so now um, let's have a look at the next tool, which is the text tool. I'm going to create a new layer. And let's see how we can now um, create a letter and then fill the letter with this background. So modify and then in your actions, um, we've got a new item here that is add text. So I tap on this and now you can see how the text box comes up here. It's a bit hard to see because um, I've got the, the purple text, but we can change that in a minute. So now let's make the letter K because it's my first name. So I'm choosing that. And then you need double tap. Um, there is a secondary menu coming up here where you can copy, cut, select, and then edit style. So edit style is where you tap um, to change the fonts and then the design and also some of the attributes of your text. So I want to change this to Futura and then I'm going to select condensed extra bold. And now I want to make it a bit bigger as well. So I'll make it as big as it goes and then I can move this around the screen. So now let's have a look at the layers panel to see what happened here. So you can see now that there is a K and it's got this A here and what this means is that this is now uh, still a text or a font. This is not a, this is not pixels yet and that means that you can change it if you like. So now let's see what we can do. So if you um, double tap on it, you can edit it. And double tap it again to edit style so if you wanted to change the font here you could do that let's say maybe we wanted to change the font to this one this is not this is not too bad so let's um let's choose this font instead and then again you can change the size and all the other typography styles here as well and then attributes here we've got the alignments you could outline the letter if you wanted to this could be quite a cool option um, and this is now uppercase already, so you could change that. And so this is how you can um, change the different um, attributes of this letter. Or you can go back to the keyboard and change the text to anything that you'd like. All right, so now um, let's see how we can fill this letter with the background. And this is so super easy. You wouldn't believe this is so nice. So all we have to do now is move our layer with the background on top of the letter and then tap on it and select clipping mask and now what this does is it will clip the pixels that match the pixels underneath to the background so let's see what this looks like and voila here we go this is our letter and it is filled with the background just like that how easy is that it's really cool so now if you wanted to add a little bit more to to the background what you can do now is you can actually just um amend the the clipping mask so one of the things you might like to do maybe change the colors 
to tap on modify and then adjustments and, and then I always like using the hue saturation and brightness sliders for a quick and easy adjustment of the overall color scheme so we can change the hue here and make that a bit different so maybe a bit brighter as well so you can change the saturation and then the brightness I quite like the way that was so, so this is now more sort of in the pink color scheme which is very nice or then of course you can also change individual colors uh, maybe start with the highlights and see how you would like to adjust um, the individual colors here so I usually start with the highlights and then I go mid-tones and see what I want to change there and see what effect it has so this makes it a bit brighter which is cool um, and, then, and then the shadows as well see how I can adjust those And now I like it quite a lot and then to end this tutorial let's make a little shadow below the letter as well so let's add a new layer and then select black and a different brush so I like to use the let's see I like to use the soft airbrush for this so I'm just gonna paint a little shadow here like that and then blur it out so let's select Gaussian blur and then to adjust the intensity of your blur it says here slide to adjust so you just slide to the right and you can see it becomes more and more blurry so this looks pretty good and now let's select this and then make it a bit smaller so you can just sort of adjust it like this and you can see now it creates a really cool shadow sort of almost makes the letter look floating in the air having said that this is actually quite intense this shadow sometimes it's it's a bit too much so what i like to do is change the opacity just bring that down a little bit and make it a bit more subtle it's a bit more realistic like that maybe bring it in a bit closer and and there we go so here we go, this is just a quick overview of some of my favorite features in Procreate Pocket. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and then also let me know in the comments if there's any other features that you would like me to show you with Procreate Pocket. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.